track wrestling here in Colorado Springs, USA Wrestling World Team Training Camp with 57 Kilo World Team member Dayton Fix. First time as part of one of these camps as a senior World Team member. How long have you been coming out to these? Oh, I mean, I've been coming out to Luna Training Center since since I was like a schoolboy. So, I mean, I've been just been up here, I've been around the senior level guys for a long time. So, you know, to be on the team, I'm, I'm uh, you know, it's something I've dreamed about. You know, I've been at all these camps and I was thinking, maybe one day, one day that's going to be me, one day that's going to be me. And, you know, now, now I'm here, so I'm uh, really, really grateful for that. What do you remember about your first camp with the seniors? Um, you know, just, just, uh, JB grabbing me and rolling around with me and just little stuff like that. And, you know, I've, I've always wanted, me and, me and Jordan, we've always, you know, talked about being teammates someday. And, you know, I was really, uh, I really hope that we would, would get to, you know, because he's, he's getting a little older and, you know, he's probably got a couple years left and I was, you know, young, having been my first team, so I'm really, I'm really glad that we, we get to, uh, you know, spend a couple years together on the same team. Camp like this, what, we're 73 days out from the World Championships. What are you looking to get out of a camp like this at this point? Uh, you know, just, it's going to be the small things that win, win a world title. It's, uh, you know, Coach Zadik always says, it's going to be, you got to keep it simple. And, uh, you know, just really uh, focus on what's going to win. And it gets my attacks, gets my ties, and just we're focused on scoring points and being really stingy. Defense. You uh, you talk about the little things, and then obviously you have that amazing tournament in Finland two years ago, Junior World Championships. I think it was like 53 to 1 or something absurd like that. Points have been a little bit harder to come by your last couple trips over to World Championships. What, what have been difference makers for you, you think? What, what uh, will enable you to get to the legs a little bit more? Uh, well, you know, I've, I've, uh, so I've switched up a little bit of things with offense, and I think it's been to help me. You know, uh, at the Open, I was getting the legs pretty consistently. And, you know, final legs, I, I got to the legs a couple times. And, you know, he's, Tom Skillman, he's a really good, good he good, has good defense. So, you know, to, to get to his leg and score, it's a hard thing to do. And, you know, if I'm able to get to his legs and score some points, then I, uh, I feel pretty confident against the rest of the world. Scrambling is such an advantage for you against a lot of guys. Where, where have you developed that ability to turn defense into offense like you're able to? Uh, just being stingy. You know, I don't, I don't like to give up points. And, you know, just getting those positions in the room and just figuring out ways, ways out of those positions. You know, uh, it's probably really not the not the best thing that I, I figured out how to get out of all that because that means people are getting to my legs. But you know it's uh, it's always something good to have whenever you know there's the best wrestlers if they get their if they get your leg they're they're scoreboard likely and you know if you can pull a trick every now and then it'll, it'll be good. But you know to win a world title I, I can't let people on my legs as much as I I did to find the legs and I have been so that's something that I need to work on for sure. You guy that likes to scout opponents much. Uh, you know, I, I don't watch film really myself. I usually let, let my coaches and, and other people watch. But, you know, I've, I've watched, watched a lot of wrestling. You know, I watch the World Championships and stuff. So, I mean, I've seen, seen some of the guys wrestle that are going my way. Any thoughts on uh, what 57 kilos looks like around the world? Uh, you know, there are a couple of the best guys got knocked off just not, not too long ago. So, you know, it's a, it's a way where anybody can... Someone can shock, you can shock the world at 57 kilos, you know. It's a way that people come out of nowhere all the time and do really well. And, you know, hopefully that's going to be me this year. And that's, uh, that's the plan. The plan is to go win a world title, man. You know, I'll be training to win a world title. 2020 is such an interesting year with uh, Olympics and Olympic trials. going to be like, what, a couple, three weeks after the NCAA championships. Have you given any thought to to what you might do, what your training might look like, Olympic red shirt or not, what uh, schedules could be for you next year and getting ready for that? Uh, yeah, you know, I haven't I haven't talked to my coaches or anything like that. You know, I'm, right now I'm focused on winter world title, and you know, after the world championships, I'm sure we'll sit down and we'll figure everything out. But you know, right now the focus is winning world title.